Welcome to Discover Daily by Perplexity, an AI-generated show on tech, science, and culture. I'm Isaac. Today, we're exploring a fascinating development in materials science that could change how we think about aluminum. But first, let's look at what else is happening. Our first story today is about the iPhone 17, which might be getting a major design overhaul. According to recent leaks reported by Apple Insider, Apple is set to introduce significant changes to its iPhone 17 lineup, potentially reshaping the iconic device's aesthetics. The most notable change is expected to be in the camera design. All models in the iPhone 17 lineup are rumored to feature a horizontal bar-shaped camera layout. For the ultra-thin iPhone 17 Air, this might manifest as an elongated camera bump housing a single rear camera with the microphone and LED flash relocated to the right side of the bar. The Pro models may adopt a more expansive version of this horizontal matrix, with a larger bar spanning the entire width of the device's back. If these rumors prove to be true, the new design will represent a significant departure from the current vertical camera arrangement, suggesting Apple's continued evolution in both form and function. Industry analysts speculate this change could allow for improved optical performance while maintaining the device's slim profile. The horizontal bar design might also provide better stability when the phone is placed on flat surfaces, addressing a common complaint about current models. These changes are expected to be unveiled in September, marking the most substantial update to iPhone aesthetics in recent years. The iPhone 17 Pro Max is also rumored to introduce some new display technology. This may include a new metal lens for Face ID that will integrate the transmitter and receiver components, significantly reducing the size of the dynamic island. Again, if true, this advancement could pave the way for even more screen real estate while maintaining the security features users have come to rely on. Moving on to our second story, OpenAI has made some changes to its popular AI chatbot, ChatGPT. The company has removed certain content warning messages from the platform in an effort to enhance user experience while maintaining essential safety measures. This update, implemented in February 2025, eliminates orange box warning messages that previously indicated potential terms of service violations. According to the company, the change allows for more natural conversations, particularly around nuanced subjects like mental health and fictional content, which often triggered unnecessary warnings. Nick Turley, the head of product for ChatGPT, emphasized that users should be able to, quote, use ChatGPT as they see fit within legal and ethical boundaries. This update addresses criticism from prominent figures who claim the platform was overly restrictive and biased. The removal has led to several notable impacts. Users are experiencing fewer interruptions in conversations, and discussions on previously flagged topics can now proceed more naturally. According to some, the chatbot feels more intuitive and less restrictive, encouraging more nuanced and meaningful interactions. Despite the removal, OpenAI maintains that it has robust safety measures to ensure responsible AI usage. The chatbot continues to refuse objectionable questions and prohibits responses supporting blatant falsehoods. According to the company, core safety protocols remain in place to protect against harmful content, Now, let's dive into our main story of the day, which brings us an exciting development in material science. Filipino scientists from Ateneo de Manila University have developed a cost-effective method to create transparent aluminum oxide using micro droplets of acid and minimal electricity. This breakthrough could have applications in electronics, solar energy, and protective coatings. The researchers, in collaboration with the NARA Institute of Science and Technology, achieved this feat using a novel, low-cost method called droplet-scale anodization. This process involves applying micro-droplets of acidic solution to ordinary aluminum surfaces and passing a minimal electric current of just 2 volts, barely more than what's found in a typical AA battery. The innovation transforms regular aluminum into a glass-like transparent material, bringing to life a concept previously relegated to science fiction. 
The process relies on the electrowetting effect, where an electric field alters the properties of liquid droplets on the aluminum surface. The technique allows researchers to precisely control the anodization, making it significantly simpler than traditional methods. It's extremely simple and cost-effective. The method eliminates the need for expensive equipment like high-powered lasers, vacuum chambers, or large vats of dangerous acids, which are typically required in conventional transparent aluminum oxide production. The process is also environmentally friendly, minimizing chemical waste and energy consumption. While the potential applications are promising, some experts maintain a cautiously optimistic outlook. Dr. Sarah Chen, a materials scientist at MIT, notes that scaling this technology from laboratory success to industrial production could present significant challenges. Still, the possibilities are intriguing. It could be used in touchscreens and optical sensors for enhanced durability and performance, ultra-durable vehicle coatings to protect against wear and environmental damage, and even in solar panels to improve efficiency and longevity. The material could also find applications in miniaturized electronics and as protective coatings for buildings to increase resilience against harsh weather conditions. By approaching the challenge of creating transparent aluminum from a new angle, these researchers have not only achieved their goal, but have done so in a way that's more accessible and potentially scalable for various industries. That's it for today. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe on your favorite platform. For more info on anything we covered today, check out the links in our episode description. And don't forget, you can now access Perplexity's AI-powered knowledge base on the go with the mobile app, available for both Android and iOS. There's also the Perplexity desktop app for Mac OS. In other Perplexity news, the company just launched Deep Research, a powerful new feature that digs deep into hundreds of sources to create thorough research reports. The tool, which is free to try and unlimited for pro users, can tackle complex research questions in just minutes. Early tests show it's remarkably accurate, making it a promising tool for anyone needing in-depth research assistance. We'll be back with more stories that matter. Until then, stay curious.